Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm going to talk about the top five savings accounts for 2021 with a catch. As many of you have seen over the course of the last couple of years, interest rates for savings accounts have been dropping pretty much every year. And right now, interest rates are at the lowest they've been since the Great Recession back in 2008, 2009. Now, while this is great, if you're trying to get a loan for a home or if you have credit card debt or if you have any other type of loan that you're receiving, because the same interest rate that the Fed announces also affects your loan interest as well as interest bearing accounts like savings accounts. And so while traditional banks that you may have heard of and that were also part of my top five in 2020, banks like HSBC, Capital One, Goldman Sachs, American Express, big banks like that, the interest rates are so low that it's not even worth being in the top five anymore. Now, while those are very straightforward accounts, there's not much you have to think about. There are no fees, no minimum balances or things of that nature. The interest rates for most of those accounts are all currently under 1%. So if you'd like a traditional bank, a bank that you've already heard of, then definitely check out my top five video for 2020. But if you'd like to put in a little bit of work and work with a bank that maybe you've never heard of or an account that you've never heard of, make sure you check out this top five today where all of these bank accounts give you an option where you can earn over 2% interest on every account mentioned. And so I'll start with number five, and that is DCU, the Digital Federal Credit Union. Now DCU is based in Massachusetts. It is a credit union, not a traditional bank that would have FDIC insurance. So it actually has NCUA insurance, which is an insurance that is used by credit unions, but it has a really high interest rate. So what's the catch with this account? With this account, you can earn up to a 6.17% interest rate on up to a thousand dollar balance. Now, in order to open an account with DCU, you either have to live in an area that has these credit unions, or you have to be a member of one of their membership credit unions or another organization, which is a member with DCU. Now, even with this catch, there is an alternate option to where if you're not already a member of the organization, or if you're not a member of an organization that partners with DCU, or you don't live in an area where there is a DCU credit union, then what you can actually do, there are a few options for organizations where you can actually donate to them. And then that allows you to become a member of that organization, which then allows you the option to apply for a DCU account. And so while you're only able to earn 6% on up to $1,000, anything above that, it would be 0.25% interest rate. This is actually a good place to just put a thousand dollars in. If you needed a thousand dollar emergency fund and that's all you needed or wanted to fund, then you can just put your thousand dollars there and any additional money that you want to save, you could put it in a different savings account. And considering the fact that the majority of Americans don't even have a thousand dollars saved over the course of a year, being able to get 6% interest rate on your $1,000, this would be a great option for you if you're eligible to open an account. And so later on, I'll do a full review of DCU if you'd like to check out that account. All right, the number four bank offers you an interest rate of 0.40% up to an interest rate of 2.80%, and that is Vero Bank. So what's the catch? The base rate for their account is 0.40% for the interest rate that you'll receive, but you can receive up to a 2.80% interest rate on up to a 10K balance. However, in order to be eligible for that rate, you have to direct deposit at least $1,000 each month. And you also have to have at least five transactions on your Vero debit card. And so this would be a combination of having both a checking account and a savings account with Vero Bank in order to get this interest rate. And so if you weren't looking for a checking account, this would require you to have a checking account and also to change your direct deposit from whatever bank you're currently using to now using Vero Bank. But with only a thousand dollar requirement, most people should be able to meet this, whether it's putting their entire check for the month or maybe half or a quarter, depending on how much you make per month. And if you would like more details on this as well, I will do a future review of this specific bank in the near future. All right, next is the number three account, which gives you a 0.49% interest rate up to a 3% interest rate, and that's with Porte Bank. Now, Porte or Port, I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but I'll say Porte Bank is an app-based savings account that allows you to get up to a 3% interest rate. And you can get that 3% interest rate on up to a $15,000 balance. Now, what's the catch with this account? 
With this account, just like with Vero Bank, you have to have a minimum direct deposit each month of at least $1,000. Now, other than that, you don't have to have any debit card transactions. All you need to do is have at least that $1,000 direct deposit, and then you can get a 3% interest rate on up to a $15,000 balance in this account. So if you'd like to learn more about Porte Bank, I will do a review in the near future to give more details on this account. Now the number two bank in my top five offers you a 1% base rate on its savings and then you can get up to 3% interest on your savings account and that's with One Finance. Now One Finance is another app-based checking account and savings account and in order to be eligible for its 3% interest rate, you have to direct deposit money into your account. Now, while there's no minimum that you have to direct deposit each month, there is a maximum amount of money that you'll get 3% interest on. Now, the eligible portion of your account that will earn that 3% interest rate is 10% of the money that you direct deposit. And so if you direct deposit $1,000 per month into this account, you can put up to 10% of that, which is automatically saved into what they call pockets. And with this pocket, 10% of your direct deposit will go into the auto save pocket and that $100 would then earn 3% interest. Now the maximum that you can earn 3% interest on would be $1,000 per month. So in order to max that out, you would have to have at least $10,000 worth of direct deposits into your account each month in order to max out the maximum of $1,000 per month. Now the base rate for the One Finance is actually 1% on its savings and there actually is no requirement for direct deposits in order to earn the 1%. But if you don't direct deposit, you can only save up to $5,000 where you'll get that 1% interest rate. But if you do have a direct deposit of any amount, then you can have up to $25,000 balance that earns that 1% interest rate. Now, if you'd like another way to earn 3% interest on the savings that you have, in addition to the auto save where you can save up to 10% of the money direct deposited into your account, you can also turn on the roundup feature. Now with the roundup feature, you would need to use their debit card and for every transaction that you make, it would then round it up to the nearest dollar and then that additional change would be swept into your auto save account and then that way you can also earn 3% interest on the change for all of the transactions that you make. And so I'll do a full review of One Finance as well. That way you can get more information about this account. But I'll also have a link below in the description. If you were to sign up now before January 31st using my referral link and you set up at least a $250 direct deposit into the account, then you'll get a $50 bonus. But you'll need to set that up before January 31st whatever the bonus may change to after that, I'll be sure to update that in the description below or in the comment section. All right, so before I get into the number one for my top five, I'm gonna give you a bonus option which some people call a hedge fund savings account, and that is a SPAC. Now, technically, I know a SPAC is not a savings account, it's actually an investment, but let me explain why I'm mentioning it here. And so for those who don't know, a SPAC is a special purpose acquisition company. SPACs have been in the news a lot over the past year because there have been many SPACs announced. There have been people like Mark Cuban who have created their own SPACs. And essentially what a SPAC does is it creates a blank check company to where that company's purpose is to merge with another actual operating business. And so hedge funds essentially will create this company and then they will have cash in the millions or billions essentially sitting there waiting in order to acquire either a full business or part of another business. And so the reason I call this a savings account is because in a low interest rate environment, just like right now, even hedge funds are trying to find ways to put their cash to use instead of putting all of their money into the market in order to make money off of the cash that they're holding. And when they're holding cash, they don't actually make money on that cash from the people that they invest their money for. And so in order to make money off of that, the same way that they make their 2% management fee of any of the money that they invest for their clients, because it is a SPAC, it is now an investable asset and now they can charge their management fee for having that stock or that asset in the stock market. And so essentially they have created a 2% savings account by creating a SPAC, which will eventually become an IPO of another business. If you'd like to learn more about SPACs, I have a video talking about that more in depth in the near future. And so now for my number one top five savings account with a catch. Now this account offers you a base rate of 0.40% on your savings, but you can earn up to 
39,999,900% interest on your account. Okay, I know that sounds crazy, but hear me out. So this account is the Yada Savings account. With the Yada Savings account, it is essentially a savings account that's also a lottery. And so for every $25 that you put into a Yada Savings account, you get one ticket to a weekly drawing. And that one $25 deposit gives you one ticket for every week of the year. So every week of the year, you have a chance to make $10 million if your ticket was chosen as the lottery winner based on the numbers chosen in that lottery ticket. And so that's where the $39 million percent interest rate comes from, because if you only have $25 and you were to win the Yada lottery, that would be the rate of return on that $25 worth of savings. And so of course, with any lottery, the chances of you winning that $10 million jackpot is very slim. However, there are other prizes in between, like the second highest prize that you can win is a Tesla Model 3, and then there's also a $500 prize, and the lowest prize that you can win each week is 10 cents. And so even if you were to only get the lowest prize each week of 10 cents, that would be $5.20 over the course of a year, which would significantly increase the base rate of the 0.40% interest that you would earn just by holding any cash in your account at all. And so if you're not familiar with the Yada Savings account, I actually did a review of the Yada Savings. You can check that out now. I have a link in the description below. But also I did a video where I talked about my three strategies in order to increase the amount of times that you can win Yada Savings, or at least increase the amount of times that you win one of the smaller prizes. So that's it for my top five savings accounts for 2021 with a catch. If there was a savings account that you expected to see in this video, but you didn't see it, let us know about that savings account in the comment section below. If you currently use any of these top five, or if you're interested in using one of these top five, let us know why in the comments below as well. And as always, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, Video, and also hit the notification bell to so be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.